So hi friends, I'm Mini Aroda Skincare and Hair Care Formulator by profession and in this video I'm going to make this beautiful cold process soap and the design is very intricate and let's see how it is made and let's dive into the video and learn all the techniques and also the formula for this cold process soap. Love yourself. So first of all, I need to wear my gloves because lye is very dangerous and it can really burn your hands if it uh, comes in contact with your skin. Okay, so first of all, we are taking this demineralized water uh, or distilled water, whatever you have in hand, you can take that and we are taking it 82.75 grams of distilled water okay and after that we will be measuring our lye which is NaOH sodium, sodium hydroxide which I am going to take is 37.1 gram so slowly pour the water into your bowl whatever bowl the bowl should be in broader size so that you can tackle it uh, intelligently so now I am going to measure this lye it looks like these small pellets forms it comes it comes in small granules also and it comes in uh, powder form also so you can uh, get it in any uh, form and this is in tablet form I'm measuring it and this I'm taking 37.1 gram of lye NaOH sodium hydroxide so next step is here we are ready with our distilled water and our lye and we have to mix them together so the proper way to mix them together is always add lye to water and not the other way around we cannot add water to lye we will have to add lye to water and always start by putting it towards your side not the other end side because it creates fumes and it creates a, a kind of a heat when in coming in contact with water so you should be aware that your face be, should be away from your bowl in whatever bowl you are using and it shouldn't harm your eyes or your skin mixing it slowly and carefully and not splitting it here and there and it will look like this uh, in a very hazy look but after some time you will see it will come into a very transparent water type of consistency and the bowl will be really hot because there comes a chemical uh, reaction in which that whenever lye and water comes in contact they create a heat uh, reaction in the, the process so we have to be careful not not splashing the water here and there and kids not should be around you when you are working with this process so after a minute or so you will see that water has come to a very transparent consistency and all the uh, lye pellets have dissolved in all the water and we are just stirring it and mixing and making sure that all the pellets and all the granules of lye is dissolved fully now let's come to our face B which is our oil face okay so here we are going to take some of the oils so first of all I am taking olive oil which is 100 grams and here second oil is coconut oil which is also 100 grams and after that I am taking this uh, shea butter shea butter is 50 grams okay so uh, shea butter or cocoa butter any butter of your choice you can use 
with that i'm taking fragrance oil which is rosemary fragrance oil which i'm taking 22 grams which will be a medium to little strong and a very nice fragrance it will give to our soap so now let's come to our live water which is cooled down to uh, almost room temperature or it should be around 45 degree to 50 degree in between so i'm checking the temperature of this live water then we will add oils to it and side by side we have to melt the oils with shea butter because shea butter is in thick consistency so we will uh, melt the shea butter with the oils and it should also be checked the temperature of the oils should also be checked it should also be between 45 degree to 50 degree celsius so now both the faces the water face which is live face and the oil face has come to between 45 to 50 degree celsius and now we are going to add water to our oils not the other way around so that should be taken care of we are going to add water to oil not oil to water okay now we will just mix it and use our stick blender to give it a crisp grind and blend it until it comes to a light thin consistency we don't want to make it very thick if we blend it too much then it will come to a very thick consistency soon and we won't be able to create our design which we are going to make today so two or four bursts of this blending is more than enough and then we are going to stop here so now we are going to divide this uh, lye mixture lye and oil mixture in three of the separate containers in which we we will create different kind of colors to make this soap So first we are going to create a first layer which is the most darkest layer of the soap which is navy blue color so if we are mixing uh, this navy blue color melted and mix this pigment in a little oil and using it in diluting in our lye solution so creating a gotting to my blue color that is navy blue color adding little by little color so that i can see what color proper color what consistency of color i want and what darkness i want in that color so now it has come to a very nice dark navy blue color as you can see and we will now pour it into our soap mold now here you can see uh, the consistency is thin so that you can easily pour it because uh, it will soon solidify thickened up so we need to be careful with the consistency which is the most important part of this cold process make soap making now we are ready with our first layer which is navy blue as you can see the picture given a side and now we move on to our second layer which is a little lighter color and we will create this color by adding titanium dioxide into this dark navy blue color and it will create a color of lighter tone than this navy blue color so first of all we are just creating a roughness in the layer so that it it gives a kind of cloudy and unevenness to the layer so this is the second layer which the color is ready with titanium dioxide and now i'm going to pour it into onto this and you can see in the picture given a side the second layer is ready with this uneven layering which i'm going to create in the soap so that it gives a nice clouds in the sky
spreading it and creating a look of clouds in the sky and just smoothing it down to the surface underneath again creating that uneven look so that when we add the third layer it also creates that cloud look to the soap so next i am going to just sprinkle activated charcoal on top of it uh, with the stainer the the iron stainer in which we strain tea and coffee so that i'm using to strain that and sprinkle those black charcoal powder as you can see in the picture creating a thin line of this charcoal powder will create this look so now i move forward to our fourth layer so which is again a lighter tone of this blue color so i'm just going to check what color i can create with this uh, that resonate with the picture given a side and we will just mix it and create a beautiful light sky blue color after adding that blue color i realized that it is not giving that sky blue color so i added some titanium dioxide also into this so that it can actually give that light baby blue color of the skies so now i'm going to pour it on this is our fourth layer so this is quite thickened up now i'm using the spoon to pour the the light solution onto it so again spreading it onto this fourth layer and spreading it unevenly to create that cloudy look tapping it and making it first smoothen down and then at last i will be creating a design with this spoon and clearing all the sides of the mold so that whenever we are going to demold it it creates a nice clean texture on the soap now we move on to our next layer which is white clouds so here i'm going to add some titanium dioxide again so that the cloud should look milky white because solution what we created was creamish and we don't want to make a cream clouds so now i am going to tilt this mold by keeping something on height and by tilting i will be pouring this our fifth layer which is titanium dioxide which is created with titanium oxide titanium dioxide and now i'm going to just pour it on this like this so now comes our sun so which i created with melt and pour soap base in a round mold and now i'm going to place this on top of it to give it as the sun is coming out and sun rising sun rising out of the clouds so that is going to give that look which i have already shown in the picture created and pushing it down so that clouds comes out and just empower over them and comes on that sun so just covering it with the clouds slowly just slowly the uh, clouds lie solution we are just going to cover it on the top of the sun clearing all the so sides from the mold so that whenever we are going to demold it after 24 hours it gives a very nice and neat look to our soap so just clean it like this and just spread it on to this sun and create a very nice and smooth look to your soap 
now everything is set perfectly and now we are going to keep it 24 hours like this and after 24 hours we will demold it and we will cut it so after 24 hours our soap is set to demold out of this mold and just push aside all the sides and we will push it out of it because that's a very small mold and the design is very intricate and we have to be really careful while demolding it now as you can see all the sides of the soap is not very neat so we will clear it with the knife and we will cut it So now as you can see uh, it has a very neat and clean surface from all the sides and now we are going to cut it measuring it whatever thickness you want so look at how beautiful this has come to so design is intricate you have to be really patient while making it otherwise you can just spoil it by your impatience likewise you can cut other pieces also and you can just clean it with knife because uh, when you unmold the uh, newly made soap this is a little wet so you need to keep it at least for four weeks to come to a very solid and nice look so just leave it for two to three weeks and your soap is ready to sell. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care. So दोस्तों मेरे channel को subscribe करें और comment करें, like करें और share भी करें और bell icon को दबाना ना भूलें ताकि आपको new new updates के notifications जाते रहें. Thank you so much. Bye bye.